Okay guys, welcome to an Empire Total War game. Uh, my name is Deadly Redcoat and today I'm playing as Great Britain. Uh, so let's take a look at my guys. I've got three units of this uh, Light Dragoons. I have uh, one unit of my General's Bodyguard. I have eight units of Lion Infantry, which are stretching down the slope like that. I have four units of Green Jackets. And I have two units of Ferguson Riflemen. I've no, I don't think I've used them much before, so I don't know what the difference was. Okay, and I'm up against Poland. And uh, I can't remember who's commanding them. But he did a good job. <laughs> this was the, uh, this game was a very, very close game. It's been a while since I've played someone with the, uh, with the same amount of skill that this guy's got. So he's got seven units of riflemen. Behind that he's got four units of line infantry. Behind them he's got four units of guard grenadiers. These are the grenadiers. This is his line infantry. Let's take a look at his rifles. Riflemen. They look like my Ferguson riflemen really. And up here he's got his general's bodyguard and also a, a mix of uh, hidden units. Okay, so I've chosen to come come down this side of the hill, set up in the uh, positions highlighted by the green. I decided to attack on the far left of my deployment zone because uh, obviously I get this nice little slope to go down. I thought with rifles, this rifleman, uh, well, green jackets, these green jackets, it's going to be uh, a lot better for me to be able to shoot downhill and have really good vis visibility. Okay, so, I'll just fast forward this a little bit. So I decided to move my cavalry, one of these uh, light dragoons, out this way. And then uh, he rushes his general back. So then I decided to send... Uh, these three units of line infantry to come up this side and uh, see if I can lure out any enemies or break off, get him to break some guys off from his uh, force. At first I originally thought he actually didn't have any cav. So I was thinking I might be alright here so that's why my cav's gone all the way up here. Now out from hiding comes one of his Light Dragoons units. His army on this map was definitely superior to what my army was. So now I'm going to try and retreat back towards my uh, line of infantry. I probably shouldn't have done that, but if I stayed I would have got completely wiped out. I'd rather have taken the shot and run. But these light dragoons are shooting me down. They killed 13 men, so he got the first kills of the map. I decided to break off this extra line infantry unit, bring it down this side, and uh, another light dragoons. So now here comes this cav, and then uh, another two units of light cav came out of hiding up here. As soon as they came out of hiding, I knew I was in trouble because I only had three cav units, and uh, well, he's got four. So now my line infantry is marching forwards, and I'm gonna have them face off against these uh, guard grenadiers. And then uh, these two units, I'm trying to use them as a shield between me and the uh, enemy's cav. I could see over here I was gonna lose this uh, fight. I was going uphill. I had too much cav against me, so I decided to bring over this extra unit of light dragoons and another unit of line. I wanted to try to tip the scales just a little bit better into my favour. Right, so my guy's getting shot at now. It says we were firing a will, but no one seems to have been at the time. So he manages to get away with that. So now my line of infantry is marching forwards to fire on the enemy. And I've got this other unit coming in from the flank, like I showed. Oh. 
So he's now uh, firing at me with these riflemen. He's getting some shots off over here. They're probably about to be ready to fire again. He's killed a fair few. I'm talking almost four, you know. At some point, it looks like I'll start losing over on this flank, so I will be making my own attack up, up on the uh, hill at the beginning. Yeah, a lot of my guys are getting killed right now. All in all, looks pretty cool. I was just thinking, up here, this line of Fatrina is going to fall, and then I'm in some serious trouble. I haven't got enough cav, basically. Alright, so I started getting beaten, beaten over here. Plain and simple. So I decided to get my cavalry through there, and uh, just go and attack some stuff. Try and route some units a little bit quicker. Help my attack. I thought I'd use my cavalry before it's gone. This cavalry to me was a bit of a luxury right now. Uh, so my cavs now coming in to attack these uh, riflemen. I lost a fair few on the way in there as well, so that wasn't very good. Now all of my cav up here, I think, is routed. Oh no, I still got one unit. It's still a very close fight. I mean, all of my units over there are routing right now. And here we go. I've gone for my. Uh, I'm coming downhill with my skirmishers now. I thought I need to get this fight going before uh, that fight over there ends because uh, I could see I was going to lose this. We're all over the place. Only I was losing. He shouldn't have been wasting time with those grenades so he should have come charging in. Alright, so I broke a unit of cav through and I've taken out a unit of riflemen along the way. So my aim was to come over here and try to save these uh, line infantrymen. Now I turned the line infantrymen around to start firing at the light dragoons. Because they were more of a worry to me right now. So it's still skirmish over here. But I was liking my positioning for this fight. And now uh, here comes the outflanking that I was expecting. So I had to break off uh, a couple units of line infantry just to go over that way. And then uh, this is why I think this player is a good player. Because uh, he presses the advantage that he gets in a second. By me breaking off two units I have to deal with what's coming in from the flank. And there's quite a lot of units coming over here. Even uh, one of mine's mixed in there, but he can see the bigger picture, so he's like pressing the advantage over there. And then I've only got the one unit of line infantry over here to back me up, so what else he's doing, which is very good, is uh, moving up these three units of line infantry. He's going to move them up here and then uh, get them within range to do some real damage to my green jackets. I could see it happening at the time, and I almost felt like giving up at this stage, but because it's been a while since I've played anyone like this, like with some decent skill. And I was literally convinced I was going to lose. But then I had a, a last minute tactical idea and uh, I went for it. So I'm going to charge forward to this line infantry unit and uh, get in some melee with these uh, melee of one of these units. And then with my other line infantry over here I'll do the same. I was doing this in hopes of that he might shoot his own men. Also, I was retreating this way with my uh, green jackets, and instead of turning them back around, he thought he was going to get some cav behind me real sneakily. But instead, I I saw that, so I decided to face these guys this way whilst I've got time. Get some shots onto these uh, light dragoons. I 
Okay, so over here my my uh, charge was going quite well, and it's uh, done the job which I wanted. It held the enemy back a little bit. So now what I'm trying to do over here is deal with this cavalry and uh, these flank these units that have been on my flank for a while. But I mean, because I withdrew a little bit, it's really changed the uh, perspective of the fight. And I managed to route that unit as well, of the uh, Light Dragoons, which was going to uh, ambush me. Now I decided to charge downhill with my general and my Ferguson riflemen, because over here I, saw, I noticed there's uh, three units of uh, riflemen. And... Uh, I thought if I could take these three units out real quick, then it'll definitely weigh the odds a little bit better in my favour. So I've really had to claw back, uh, claw back through the uh, against the odds really. And I was definitely against the odds. I still am. I have this cavalry unit coming in. It's route. It's like killing off my routing units. Definitely making sure they're not coming back. And then over here, if this cavalry unit got its chance, it would be doing some real damage against my uh, light infantry or green jackets. So my general's in the thick of it right now. These riflemen. He's basically trying to kill him. And my uh, Ferguson rifleman are fighting his uh, rifleman. My Ferguson rifleman got a charge bonus, so they're winning. And we're running downhill. Okay, so this flank over here was still looking pretty meaty for what it was. I was trying to adjust these guys over here. I kept moving them around. I was really fidgeting with them. I just thought I've got to be real careful because of that cavalry out there. But overall, my plan on the left flank, uh, Route 3 units of riflemen with my General's bodyguard and one unit of Ferguson riflemen is working quite well. My original charge uh, with my line infantry has now been backed up with these guys, so I've even reinforced this fight. So I've got like a, a flank that's uh, strong enough to do an attack on the enemy right now. So I'm going to line up this uh, line infantry and start shooting into uh, his units, which are still functional. And now my general's routed these uh, other units down here, and everything's looking good so far. This unit is getting shot quite a bit. So we managed to route that unit with the combined firepower of my three rifleman units up on the hill. Oh yeah, and over here he attacked me with his cavalry and uh, it looked like he was really going to kill off my units but I turned, uh, turned this unit around and shot at him and I shot at him with this unit as well just before whilst it was still attacking the first unit. So now I was way more confident. It looked really, really bad like uh, two minutes ago. Well, from my. the way that I calculate these games anyway, I think it's pretty. was looking pretty bad. But right now it's looking way more in my favour. <laughs> this little line infantry unit of 31 men. I keep pushing them forwards at this stage as well. And then they start taking casualties and then they uh, crack in about a couple seconds time. And that's why everything else of his is routed. And I start firing at his general with the uh, the two units on the end here. I wanted every cavalry, like every unit with a horse in, just gone. 
But I would say the uh, our opponent, well, my opponent for this game, had a huge advantage over me with the uh, extra units of light horse that he had, the light dragons. I just mean it's specifically against the uh, army which I used. If I had his army, I definitely would have crushed my army in this fight. That's for sure. And he seemed a lot more experienced than me with uh, using the uh, light cav as well. At this stage, this guy wasn't quite happy in the chat box because uh, I routed his cavalry over there <laughs> when it came to attack my unit. Killed a lot of my light, uh, well, my uh, Ferguson, and, I don't know, my green jackets, that's the ones. Killed quite a lot of them on the floor of the dead. But with two volleys from the rest of my stuff, we managed to rob him. What's this guy doing? So basically what's happening now is what's left of his men is now uh, faltering and is dying. He's got not enough strength left to uh, mount an attack. And if he does it'll be basically an instant rout. Off goes some grenadiers. And anyway now guys, he's got two units left, this line of infantry over there and another line of infantry down here. I'm going to fast forward to the end because it's going to take a while. In fact, because uh, he comes forwards but then he, oh yeah and he's got that rifleman unit there. He comes forwards but then uh, he sort of like runs away up the hill. He runs all the way this way, uh, basically up to here and I can't be asked waiting for that in the replay. As you can see, I like go down, take some shots, and then uh, I didn't like the positioning, so I decided to move my men in a moment's time. I wanted to have the last bit of the fight over here on the uh, open ground. Plus, I wanted to reorganize my guys and to, like get them back to uh, being fresh, etc. Some were tired, some were very tired. And the Ferguson riflemen especially, those those guys had uh, no ammo left at this stage. So uh, they were going to be melee units now. So that's why I got them back in the line formation, etc. Yeah, as I said, he's, he's going to run up the hill. It's going to take a while. So what I wanted to do was... Uh, rest my guys and then I was just gonna walk after him and then go get him there's a moth on my speaker come back here you little damn it got away <laughs> sorry there was a little moth in my room tried catching it but it got away it's just like this guy really it's going up it's going up out of reach <laughs> The highest point. So my guys are all fresh now, practically except for one unit, which I was still sort of waiting for. But he's gonna admit defeat anyway. And in all fairness, my four units of green jackets, they had like over half uh, ammunition left, so I wasn't worried about winning or losing this. At this stage it was it was done. Like he's he's finished sort of thing. So You should uh, turn it off in a minute. Well, press the victory button, defeat button, whatever. I'm liking these green jackets though. They're the same ones from Sharp. There we go. I mean, like, look at them losses. I lost more than him. But I mean, uh, it was it was a bloody fight that was. That was a great fight. Good skills. Skilled fight. So let's see what my best unit was. Yeah, them Ferguson riflemen. Guess they are worth their money then. It doesn't show my opponents, unfortunately. But yeah, the advantage he had on that was like bringing more cavs than I brought. 
and there uh, because I had more expensive light infantry and less of it. The skirmishers, I mean, because I was trying out those Ferguson riflemen. He could have used that caval cavalry advantage and just come and smash my guys like to pieces, basically. I know how to have done it, but it's too much to explain at the end here now. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and that's the first Empire video in a while. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. So, cheers for coming to my channel and watching it.